You know, in so many ways, as we gather here to celebrate this day, it is one of the most important American holidays because it represents who we aspire to be rather than simply celebrating who we are or what we have been. Dr. King's legacy is one of love, love for and service to God and to all of God's children. And throughout his life, he embodied that love through his example of how he lived and how he led and how even during our darkest of days, he chose love. For me, his example inspired me from a young age where I personally experienced that I was happiest when serving God when working for the well-being of others and the planet, and this is what's motivated me throughout my life. There is a price for war that we all pay that Dr. King recognized. He opposed the Vietnam War because he saw that cost, how our government spent $35 billion a year to fight in Vietnam, but would not spend $44 million to get rid of the rats in impoverished American communities. As we stand here today, our leaders waste trillions of dollars on the new Cold War and wasteful regime change wars that have not made us any safer. Right now, we are wasting $4 billion every month on a war in Afghanistan alone. Yet politicians tell us there's no money for our children's education. No money for teachers' raises. No money to make sure that our children have clean water to drink in Columbia, in Hopkins, Belton, and across the country. No money to keep our hospitals from closing in rural communities like Orangeburg and Denmark. As president, I will end this insanity, where instead of wasting trillions of dollars on death and destruction, I will turn our precious dollars towards the cause of life and renewal here at home. We have an opportunity to continue the work of our heroes. May God bless you all. May God bless America. Aloha. Thank you.